Okay. Let's talk about something. You know, every epic in human history is plagued with one thing, and it's infallible. Every branch of science always thought they had a clue on what was going on. 60 years, 100 years, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, they're always proven wrong. Okay, I'd like to go over a test, uh, a quote that uh, Nikola Tesla gave, and start out with the premise that um, something emits light. You know, I've got light bulbs pointed at my ugly face right now. We talk about light bulbs emitting light. The sun emitting light, this extremely powerful LED uh, flashlight emitting light. But is that the case? Space is nothing. Space is the absence of inertia. So what is going on? What do you think is being emitted by the sun or flashlight? We have this notion that there's such a thing as a speed of light. So what you're saying is that a match emits light at the exact same speed as a nuclear blast. Well, yeah, it sure does. And we all grew up with this bullshit, and it's exactly what it is. You, you can't call it anything else other than bullshit. A match, a light bulb, everything else does not emit light. It doesn't. They don't emit light at all. They set up a field perturbation. Oh, a field perturbation. Yeah, a perturbation in the ether. Irreducibly correct. Speed. There's no such thing as the speed of light. It is a rate of induction. No such thing as the speed of light. Light does not have a speed. It's a maximum limit of propagation of any phenomena with transverse modalities, whether that's simply magnetism, whether that is light, which is a coaxial circuit, which has transverse oscillating, either circular or linear perturbations in a, the form of electricity and magnetism. And ether perturbation necessitates the loss of inertia. That loss can only be expressed by transverse electrical and magnetic reciprocation. This transverse phenomenon is proportional to the rate of induction, which is incorrectly called you want to call it zero point energy mother nature doesn't give a shit what you call it it's the medium it's the only medium that there is everything in the universe is electrical everything and there's only one field and everything else is a field modality there's inertia longitudinal the loss of that inertia the loss of that inertia as expressed in magnetism which gives volume to 100% of the universe. There's that other uh, field of modality, which is electricity, which is uh, a combination of dielectricity and magnetism. Phi times phi equals Q and Planck of electrification. Gravity does not exist. That which we call gravity is none other than dielectric acceleration. The higher the capacitance, the greater electromagnetic retardation that occurs as light passes through a capacitor such as glass. This phasing is the reason for white light diffraction through a prism and why shorter wavelengths are more greatly diffracted than the red end spectrum of light. Constructive and destructive interference in phase and out of phase. The coaxial circuit, i.e. light, which is what light is, it's a coaxial circuit, is mutually interdependent. You cancel the dielectric compression, then you cancel the wave front. If you cancel the wave front, you alter or cancel the compression or rarefaction through the ether. You know, we talk about physics, too, and we talk about quantum, i.e. quantity, i.e. physicality. Physics and quantum, i.e. materialism, i.e. atomism, it has nothing to do with field theory, because fields, in principle, given Maxwellian field equations, always talk about a time variable and a, an effect over a given period of time. A field in and of itself has no quantity, it has no physicality, it is not phenomena. You cannot quantify a field. Here's another thing. No one on Earth has ever discovered a photon. There is no such thing as a photon. You will find no empirical evidence. Or, yeah, we sure we have. No. 
No, that's not the case. You think you're going to take the lens off your camera and spill out the photons after a day of shooting? It's full of photons. There's no such thing as a damn photon particle. This shit doesn't exist. There is not one evidence on this earth, this green earth, for a fucking photon particle anywhere. Nobody has one single evidence of such bullshit. It's, a, it's, it's pathetic uh, Descartian atomism dreamt up by these quantum assholes. You know, light is a coaxial circuit. It is an electrical, magnetic, and dielectric circuit. There is no quantity, there's no phenomena within light. It's, it's like a particle and it's like a wave. It's, that's what they call it, a wave-particle duality. Shut the fuck up with that bullshit. Mother Nature is not a cross-eyed crack whore. You know, it doesn't work that way. Nature does not work that way. The fascination of the false electromagnetic theory of light advanced by Maxwell and subsequently uh, experimentally investigated by Hertz was so great that even now, although controverted, uh, the scientific minds are under its sway. This theory supposed uh, the existence of a medium which was solid yet permitted bodies to pass through it without resistance. This is a tenuous beyond conception. In other words, it's ludicrous to insanity. And according to our conceptions of mechanical principles and ages of experience, such a medium was absolutely impossible. Light was wrongly considered a phenomena bound up in that kind of medium, namely transmitting vibrations like a solid. What then can light be, this is his explanation of light, if not a transverse vibration? I consider this extremely important. Light cannot be anything but a longitudinal disturbance in the ether, involving alternate compressions and rarefactions. Light can be nothing else than a sound wave in the ether. This appears clearly if it is first realized that there is no Maxwellian ether, therefore there can be no transverse oscillations in the medium. Newtonian theory is an error because it fails entirely in not being able to explain how a small candle can project light at the same speed as a blazing sun, which has immensely higher temperatures and power. Everything in the universe is based upon capacitance, resistance, permeability, and permittivity. I mean, the notion that light is like hitting glass and then slowing, which it does, it slows down, but it's not a speed, it's a rate of induction. And it speeds up again as it exits the glass, and this is a hardcore fact. It's empirically proven over and over and over and over and over again. You know, it's ridiculous. Well, if you do that with a car, you'd have to reapply some gas. What is light doing? Light got some gas reserves, and after it leaves the glass, it reaccelerates. No, because it's a rate of induction. It's not a fucking speed. The rate of induction of the ether perturbation is entirely contingent upon the resistance and permeability of the electrical attributes of the medium the perturbation is passing through. I can go on and on and on and on about this all day long, but your eyes will roll back in the back of your skull and you'll be like, ah, enough about light. Okay? Nothing emits light, and light is not a fucking speed. If you can understand that, you'll be a lot smarter than 99.99999% of the rest of the world. Okay? Some people don't give a crap about this. Some people like to know stuff.